Hello dear students, welcome to the 7th session on the chapter Admission of a Partner. Here in this session, let's have a discussion on few questions from the question bank relating to calculation of sacrifice ratio, new profit sharing ratio and also preparation of memorandum revaluation account. Let's take up the first question now. Akash and Bhushan are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2. They admit Chandan. Akash contributes one-fourth of his share and Bhushan contributes one-eighth of his share. Calculate new profit sharing ratio of the partners. This question had appeared in the year 2011 for 6 marks. Let's see the question now. The requirement is to calculate the new profit sharing ratio. Okay. So, first we need to identify among the 7 cases, which case is applicable here. That depends on the information given in the question. Okay. So, it is given that there were 2 partners, Akash and Bhushan. And their old profit sharing ratio was 3 is to 2. They admit Chandan. Okay, Chandan is the new partner. But new partner share is not given in the question. The second information that is given is Akash contributes one fourth of his share. Which means that out of his total share, he is contributing one fourth of that. Which means that this one fourth is the fraction of the share sacrificed by Akash in favor of Chandan. Okay. Similarly, Bhushan contributes one eighth of his share, which means that out of total share of Bhushan, he is contributing one eighth of that. Nothing but one eighth is the fraction of the share which is contributed by Bhushan in favor of Chandan. Okay. So, two informations are given old profit sharing ratio of the old partners and second one fraction of the uh, share sacrificed by each of the old partners. So, these are the two informations given in the question. So, which case is applicable here? Case 5 is applicable. So, according to case 5, we have to calculate the new profit sharing ratio. Okay. Under case 5, how to calculate the new profit sharing ratio? First, we need first step. We have to calculate what is the share sacrificed by each of the old partner. Okay. Then we are going to calculate what is the new share of the old partners. Okay. Then we are finally we are going to simplify that to calculate the new profit sharing ratio of the all partners. Okay. Now let us see the solution. In the first step, we are going to calculate what is the share sacrifice. The formula is share sacrificed is equal to old share into fraction of the share sacrificed. There are two old partners. We have to calculate what are the shares sacrificed by Akash as well as Bhushan. Now coming to the first partner, share sacrificed by Akash is equal to old share. The old profit sharing ratio given in the question is 3 is to 2. Okay, 3 is to 2. So out of which 3 by 5 belongs to Akash and 2 by 5 belongs to Bhushan. Now share sacrificed by Akash is equal to his old share that is 3 by 5 into fraction of the share sacrificed by him is 1 by 4. So, you have to multiply that 3 1s are 3 divided by 5 4s are 20. So, this is the share sacrificed by first old partner. Similarly, we have to calculate in case of Bhushan. Share sacrificed by Bhushan is equal to his old share. So, here it is 2 by 5 into fraction of the share sacrificed by Bhushan is 1 by 8. So, you have to multiply that 2 1s are 2 divided by 5 8s are 40. Okay, so this is the share sacrificed by second old partner that is Bhushan. Then we have to calculate in the second step what are the new shares of old partners. New share is equal to old share minus share sacrificed. In case of first partner, new share of Akash is equal to his old share. What is his old share? 3 by 5 minus share sacrificed here we have calculated that is 3 by 20. We have to simplify that. If you see the denominator, first part has denominator of 5 and second part has 20. So, in order to make uh, LCM of 20, so you have to multiply 4 to the first part here uh, to the denominator as well as to the numerator. Thereby, the denominator equates to 20. So, when you are multiplying 4 to the denominator, you have to multiply the same to the numerator also. So, in that case, 4 3s are 12 minus 3. So, you get 9 by 20. So, this is the new share of Akash. Similarly, you have to calculate in case of Bhushan. New share of Bhushan is equal to his old share. It is 2 by 5 minus share sacrificed by Bhushan is 2 by 40. So, again, you have to equate the denominator. LCM here is 40. 
so in order to equate the denominator to the first part you have to multiply 8 both to the numerator as well as to the denominator so we can write the denominator as 40 and in the numerator first part 8 twos are 16 minus in the second part as it is we are writing that is 2 so when you take the difference it is 16 minus 2 14 divided by 40 okay so these are the new share of old partner then coming to the new partner it is given that chandan is the new partner but his share in the future profit is not given so as per case 5 what we have to do in order to calculate what is the new share of the old part i mean uh, new share of the new partner we have to add the share sacrificed by old partner so share sacrificed by first partner is 3 by 20 and the second partner is 2 by 40 we have to add the share sacrifice by both of them to calculate the share of the new partner okay so here new share of chandan or share of new partner chandan is equal to 3 by 20 plus 2 by 40 if you see the denominator uh, we have to take the LCM of 40. So, in order to get 40, we have to multiply 2 to the first part, both to the numerator as well as to the denominator. So, thereby the denominator equates to 40. In the numerator, in the first part, 2 into 3 is 6 plus here 2 in the second. Okay. So, 6 plus 2 is 8 divided by 40. So, this is the share of new partner that is Chandan. You have to write in the next line. Therefore, new profit sharing ratio of Akash, Bhushan and Chandan is equal to 9 by 20 is to 14 by 40 is to 8 by 40. So, if you see here, the second and third part has denominator of 40 but first part has 20. So, you have to equate the first part with the other second and third part. So, you have to uh, make it 40 by multiplying 2 to the denominator as well as to the numerator so in the denominator in all the three cases it will be 40 coming to the numerator 2 into 9 which comes to 18 is to 14 is to 8 so here you get 18 is to 14 is to 8 okay so it can be further simplified taking 2 so 2 fours are 2 sevens are Two nines are. So, new profit sharing ratio between Akash, Bhushan and Chandan is 9 is to 7 is to 4. So, this is the answer for the first question. Okay. Then, coming to the second question, Amar and Akbar are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 6 is to 4. They admitted Anthony in the business and gave him 6 by 20 share, which he obtains from Amar and Akbar in the proportion of 4 by 20 and 2 by 20 respectively calculate sacrifice ratio of the old partners as well as new profit sharing ratio of all the partners okay this question again had appeared in the year 2012 and 2017 for six marks okay as we discussed in the previous question first work is to identify which case is applicable here okay among the seven cases what are the information that is given in the question there were two old partners, Amar and Akbar, and their old profit sharing ratio was six is uh, six is to four. Okay, they admitted Anthony as the new partner and gave him six by twenty share. Okay, old profit sharing ratio of the old partners is given. Share of the new partner is given, and one more information is given, which he obtains, which the new partner obtains from Amar and Akbar in the proportion of four by twenty and two by twenty respectively. Okay, which means that proportion is nothing but it is the ratio in which Amar and Akbar have sacrificed their share to the new partner. Okay, the first requirement here is to calculate sacrifice ratio. What is the meaning of sacrifice ratio? The ratio in which the old partners contribute a part of their share in favor of the new partner. Proportion is nothing but ratio. Okay, so here. The ratio or proportion in which the old partners are contributing their part of share in favor of the new partner is specifically given in the question. That is 4 by 20 and 2 by 20. Nothing but it is 4 is to 2. Okay. This is the sacrifice ratio. So, which case is applicable here? Case 3. Okay. Case 3 says that problem gives old profit sharing ratio of the old partners, share of the new partner and also sacrifice ratio. Proportion of contributing the 
share of the old partners in favor of the new partner that will be given in the question so case 3 is applicable as per case 3 we have to calculate sacrifice ratio as well as the new profit sharing ratio coming to the first requirement here sacrifice ratio of the old partners it is specifically given in the question that is 4 by 20 is to 2 by 20 since the denominator is equal we can take the same ratio that is 4 is to 2 further it can be simplified as 2 is to 1 okay sacrifice ratio in this question is 2 is to 1 sacrifice ratio of Amar and Akbar is equal to 2 is to 1 then we have to calculate what is the new profit sharing ratio of all the partners Amar, Akbar and Anthony so here case 3 is applicable so what we have to do share sacrifice by each of the old partners they have specifically given in the question so again we need not do any calculation so directly we have to calculate what is the new share of old partners new share of old partners is equal to old share minus share sacrifice so new share of Amar is equal to his old share the old profit sharing ratio was 6 is to 4 so 6 by 10 minus share sacrificed by him is 4 by 20 so you have to simplify that denominator you get 20 so when you multiply here 2 it will be 6 2s are 12 minus 4 when the simplified it it will be 8 by 20 so new share of Amar is 8 by 20 similarly new share of Amar Akbar his old share was 4 by 10 minus share sacrificed by him is 2 by 20 okay so when you simplify you get 6 by 20 and share of new partner is specifically given in the question that is 6 by 20 so when you simplify here it will be new profit sharing ratio is equal to 8 by 20 is to 6 by 20 is to 6 by 20 so if you see denominator is equal so you can take the same ratio that is 8 is to 6 is to 6 which can be further simplified as 2 3s are 2 3s are and 2 fours are so new profit sharing ratio of Amar, Akbar and Anthony is 4 is to 3 is to 3 so we have completed two requirements sacrifice ratio is 2 is to 1 and new profit sharing ratio of all the three partners is 4 is to 3 is to 3 okay so this is the second question now let us take up the third question a comma b and c were partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2 their balance sheet as on 31st March 2010 stood as follows. On the asset side, they have given cash at bank 14,500, debtors less RBD, debtors gross amount is 5,000, less RBD 100 rupees, so net amount is 4,900, stock 8,000, machinery 8,500, buildings 25,000. On the liability side, creditor 6,900, general reserve 9,000, capitals A, B, C. Then D is admitted for 2 by 12 share in the future profits on the following terms. Stock B depreciated by 6%. RBD B brought up to 5% on datas. Buildings B appreciated by 20%. A provision of 770 B made for bills dishonored. Prepare memorandum revaluation account. So here the third question the requirement is to prepare the memorandum revaluation account as i have already told you in the previous video memorandum revaluation account is prepared in two sections the result of first section will be transferred to old partners capital account in the old profit sharing ratio but coming to the second session uh, section the result of second section will be transferred to all partners capital account in the new profit sharing ratio so before we prepare the memorandum revaluation account we have to show the calculation of new profit sharing ratio in the working note okay so uh, for that we have to identify which case is applicable here okay what are the information they have given in the question there were three old partners a comma b and c and their old profit sharing ratio was 5 is to 3 is to 2 okay and one more information d is the new partner and he is admitted for 2 by 12th share in the future profit so these are the two informations given in the question so here case 2 is applicable okay as per case 2 we have to calculate what is the new profit sharing ratio of a b c and also d now wherever case 2 is applicable what we have supposed to do we have to assume that the old partners continue to share the future profits in the same ratio as before okay so in that case the ratio of sharing the remaining share between the old or between or among the old partners will be the same old profit sharing ratio that is 5 is to 3 is to 2 
let us first show the calculation with regard to new profit sharing ratio here we have to first assume that the total share of the firm is 1 then we have to write share of new partner d in the future profit is 2 by 12 which is given in the question then since we assume that the total share of the firm is 1 how to calculate the remaining share of the firm 1 minus 2 by 12 so you get here 12 and in the numerator 12 ones are 12 minus 2 is 10 so remaining share of the firm which belongs to the old partners a b and c is 10 by 12 okay thereafter we have to calculate what is the new share of the old partners the formula is new share is equal to remaining share into ratio of sharing the remaining share okay as i said just now we are assuming that the old partners are continuing with the same ratio as before in that case the ratio of sharing the remaining share will be equal to the old profit sharing ratio that is 5 is to 3 is to 2 okay now on this basis we have to calculate the new share of all the partners new share of a is equal to the remaining share is 10 by 12 into his share in the remaining share will be 5 by 10 so when you multiply 10 5s are 50 divided by 12 into 10 is 120 similarly in case of new share of b is equal to it is 10 by 20 that is the remaining share into his share in the remaining share is 3 by 10 so 10 3s are 30 divided by 12 10s are 120 okay then new share of c is equal to remaining share is 10 by 12 into his share in the remaining share will be 2 by 10 so 10 into 2 is 20 divided by 12 10s are 120 so we have to also write what is the share of new partner that is 2 by 12 here so here in the other cases if you see this the denominator 120 so you have to multiply 10 to the numerator as well as to the denominator in case of last partner here okay in order to equate the denominator so new profit sharing ratio of a b c and d will be 50 by 120 is to 30 by 120 is to 20 by 120 is to 20 by 120 okay so 120 is same in all the cases so if you see the numerator part 50 is to 30 is to 20 is to 20 it can be further simplified uh, as 5 is to 3 is to 2 is to 2 okay so this is the new profit sharing ratio of a b c and d okay now coming to the other adjustments of devaluation first adjustment given that stock to be depreciated by 6 percent so decrease in the stock it results in revaluation loss it should be debited in the first section of the memorandum revaluation account and credited in the second section so how to calculate uh, depreciated amount 6 percent should be calculated on 8000 rupees then rbd to be brought up to 5 percent on datas okay here already rbd is there to the extent of 100 rupees so here they have decided at the time of revaluation to maintain the rbd to the extent of 5 percent of data so 5 percent of data is nothing but 5 percent of gross data what is the gross data here 5000 on that if you calculate 5 percent it comes to 250 so 250 is the rbd which they want to maintain for future but already 100 rupees is there so what is the rbd to be created now extra rbd 150 rupees again you are creating a provision against an asset which results in revaluation loss so it should be debited in the first section and credited in the second section then third adjustment building to be appreciated by 20 percent so appreciation in the value of asset building it results in revaluation profit we have to calculate 20 percent on 25,000, which comes to 5,000. so revaluation profit so in the first section it should be credited and in the second section it should be debited okay one more adjustment is given a provision of 770 be made for bills dishonored we are creating a provision for paying the liability so it results in revaluation loss we have to show this in first section debit side and second section credit side let's see the solution of memorandum revaluation account now in the memorandum revaluation account as i said it should be prepared in two sections in the first section we have to show the various losses on the debit side and profit in the credit side okay two stock account two rbd 150 rupees two provision for bills receivable all these three uh, are shown here on the debit side then uh, by buildings profit is shown on the credit side then we are going to close the revaluation i mean memorandum revaluation first section we are going to balance that we get balancing figure of 3600 
this represent net profit on revaluation which will be transferred to old partners capital account in the old profit sharing ratio that is 5 is to 3 is to 2 so for a it will be 1800 b 1080 and c 720 okay then we are going to continue with the second section all these item all the three adjustment here it will come on the credit side all the three losses then this profit will come here in the debit side okay after that again we are going to balance the second section we get the same amount of balancing figure here here it represent net loss and this net loss should be transferred to all partners capital account in the new profit sharing ratio new profit sharing ratio just now we calculated it is 5 is to 3 is to 2 is to 2 in this ratio it should be transferred to all partners capital account so you, when you calculate it you get for a 1500 b 900 c 600 and d 600 okay so this is the solution for the third question so you have to follow the same procedure while preparing the memorandum revaluation account okay that's it for this video we have solved three questions if you have doubt you can contact me thank you for watching